Hello everyone, it's me, it's Nick, your glorious leader, and today we are going to play a bit of Castaway Paradise. I'm very excited, because I've always fancied myself as a bit of a castaway. I think I'd make a, uh, I'd make a good Wilson. I'd make a good Wilson, because my head's spherical, like a football, and massive, and full of air. Wait, what? Oh, look, it's a crisp. Oh my god, it's a surprise crisp. Why does my character look like a crisp? Oh, storm. Oh my god. He's going to get all soggy. Like a Pringle in the rain. Quick, take shelter, Mr Pringles. If I was a Pringle, I think I'd be maybe salt and vinegar, I think. Salt and vinegar is the best Pringle flavour, I think. Arguably. Oh no. I don't have much to say about that, really. That's sad. What a waste of perfectly good Pringles, you know? Oh my god, it's Swamp Thing! And what is she supposed to be? Is she a pig lady? Hello there, uh, Kelpie Critter. Are you alright? I'm fine, thank you. I was a, I was a Pringle, but now I'm a mouldy Pringle. Wow, my name is Victoria with a K. Wow. Last night's storm back to our island, you're just in time. Could you please help us clean up? Who do you think I am? Landed on some kind of communist island where I'm immediately put to work by a pig woman. And that wasn't an insult, she's got a snout, so I think it's fine. Right, there you go, I've done your bidding. You summoned a sea monster, I've done your bidding. I had a much better life as a Pringle, I hope you know that. Right, thanks dear. Now tell me, what's underneath all that kelp? How dare you? Uh, I'll be a boy. Go for it. That's what I fall. What do you mean that's what you fall? Let's get that seaweed off you. Yeah, happy days. What the? I... Castle of Paradise used to have a lot of fruit trees, but the storm destroyed most of them. Little leisure suit Larry here. Oh! Now, I'm not going to give anyone prizes as well, by the way, if you guess what kind of game potentially inspired this. Because if you're thinking Legend of Zelda, you're totally right. Now, of course, it's Animal Crossing. It's it's obviously Animal Crossing. I will say, first and foremost as well, thank you very much to the developers who actually sent me a copy of this game. It is very much appreciated. I do always appreciate it when people send me stuff. Thank you. I always try to be completely honest, even if something has been sent to me. I look like... I look like Leisure Suit Larry meets Squidward. Look at that nose. But I'm, I always try to be honest. I always try to do a completely honest view of how I'm doing things and how I'm finding it. At the moment, I can very clearly see this as Animal Crossing inspired. But, you know, you never know. You never know. Let's see where it goes. Now let's use the apple to grow a new tree. You can borrow my tools. I don't want... Why am I... Why have you put me to... You don't even know who I am. Why do I work for you? I don't like the mayor. She seems to think that I am somehow... Someone who works for her. I've just washed up on the island. Surely, really, I should be having some sort of treatment. Probably in shock. That's probably why I'm doing it. Probably just out of shock, you know? No, no, what? No. Right, okay. Now water it. Is this how trees work? I've never grown a tree, so I assume... Wow, this gardening thing's easy. I don't know why more people don't do it. It seems pretty straightforward. So you just water something and it grows. But why is he not facing it? There we go. There we go. Yes. 19 minutes. I don't like the real time thing. I thought that was one of the only things. Don't get me wrong. I know people play Animal Crossing because of it. And it extends the life of the game. But I don't like to be made to wait when I play something, you know. Great, Sugar. You have excellent gardening skills. Uh, well, thanks. I also have a single chest hair. But I'm very proud of that chest hair. You can stay here if you want to. Oh yeah, well thanks, yeah. With no no means of transportation and no ability to swim long distance, I'm a bit stuck. You'll need a place to sleep. I know, I have an old tent in the attic. You could sleep in that. I thought she meant the attic. I thought this was going to like a lady in the attic, Mr. Rochester vibe there. Which is a very nuanced reference. I'm curious to see if people get. It's a start, honey. Later on, we'll build you a regular home. Oh, thank you. Let's meet the neighbours. Their necks are freaky. Their necks freak me out. Look at him. He's just... Yeah. 
He looks like a barrel. But, oh well, right, I've unlocked all this stuff. I've got level one. Right, yeah, so this is a daily thing, okay. Right, I feel like as well, being a pirate is a good reward. Work is not a reward I want to work towards. Just saying. It's Friday right now as I'm recording this, and the last thing I want to do is go, oh yeah, work. You know, Livy, you should really meet you. I don't want to. I don't want to. Talk to Angus, Millie, and Gustav. Bet Angus is a cow. Bet Angus is a cow. They might have all kinds of errands for you. Hello, my name's Angus, and I need your help to hide a body. Oh, Angus, you're not what I expected. <laughs> oh, it's a duck. Talk to me. Howdy, quack. It's Nick, actually. My name is Amelia. I'm the delivery girl. It shows one's mind. I I find them a little bit creepy. I think with Animal Crossing, the the models are quite cute, but because these models are more square, they look, they look creepy. And I think the other thing is they don't blink; just stares into your soul with duck-like malice. Years of games like Duck Hunt have conditioned her. But it's warm and there is a baker, so I'll manage. Okay. Anyway, it's good to see a pretty face like you don't hit on me, duck person. I've literally just got off the beach. Did you see? I nearly died. Most of the other villagers look kind of silly. Well, I, wow. I don't want to live here. It's very judgy. It's very judgy here. Oh! Never open your mouth again. I saw the void in there. I saw the void in your mouth. Giving me like, I have no mouth but I must scream kind of vibes. I, I can't, how do I, how do I change? Right, right, I need the watering can anyway, let's do this. Let's water these as we run around. Might as well, I suppose. The tiki, I have appeased the tiki gods. Okay, good, find the meat, Gustav. Okay, I'll water these on the way, I suppose. See, I do like Animal Crossing. As much as I sort of moan about the day system, I do really like it. But it's one of those games where I played it, it really got me through the first half of lockdown. But now when I look at it, it feels like an insurmountable hill. Like if you ever stop a game that does multiple day things and then you pick it back up again, there's this moment of just thinking, oh God, you know, you have to catch up with everything. And it feels like work sometimes, like a commitment, you know? I never got behind Tamagotchis for that reason. I had a Tamagotchi once when I was, I think about eight. And I dropped it through a, it was like a bridge at a train station. And we had to rush off to London or somewhere like that. And I remember crying my eyes out because my Tamagotchi was going to die. And then we came back, I think the next day, because we were staying somewhere. And lo and behold, my Tamagotchi had died. And yeah, I mean, there's an element of, don't get me wrong, I find things like cuddly toys comforting. Of course I did. I, I've got like a cuddly Simba from when I'm a kid. But I find it a little bit creepy when you're like, now you must never let this creature die. <laughs> like, giving a don't get me wrong, it's responsibility, but, you know, you, you sort of say, oh, it'll teach a kid responsibility. But if you dropped a dog through the slats of a ladder, you wouldn't just be like, well, yeah, but, you know, I've got to go, got to, go to an art gallery today, so leave it. Let it die. We can pick up the bones on Monday. <laughs> then again, though, it would solve a lot of problems, wouldn't it, really? I'm joking. Do not drop dogs through ladders and let them die. It's weird how you have to put those kind of warnings before stupid things you say, just in case someone goes and does it. I've got some sort of hideous apple-like creature. Yeah, the squares thing freaks me out a little bit. I don't know why. It just looks a bit creepy. What are you? Bonjour, I'm Gustav. The boulanger, the baker. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. I love your moustache. Just like you, I'm not from this island. Right, why do we have to make camps of who's from this island and who isn't? But don't worry, the island's all very kind and welcoming. Well, no, not really. I met the duck and she said you look like a freak. Now, I'm not going to lie. You, you do a bit. But I like you, Gustav. Well, except for Angus. Well, yeah, look, see. There's like picket lines and hatred. There's barely anyone on this island and there's already hate. In fin, being a baker, I would soon have a lot of jobs for you. So come past my place and um, I need a date tonight and I'm very lonely. So I, that's my task for you, is I want you to come to my house and uh, watch television with me. Oh look, a broken TV, speak of the devil. 
This place is just... What the hell is that? Hi there, I'm Polly, the terrifying eldritch creature of the deep. How are you? I hop from island to island selling and buying all kinds of things. Neat, right? I, yeah. Walk up to the items and take a look. If you want to sell stuff, talk to me. I'm always on the lookout for a bargain. Okay. Why am I the only human in this land of animal people? Am I a freak here? Am I like the Quasimodo of the island? I want that tiki head, though. There are many variations on this Polynesian image. This one is special because it is on Castaway Island. Castaway Paradise. Oh. Okay. What's that? Banana haggis? Haggis made solely with bananas. It's Angus' favourite breakfast, lunch and dinner. <laughs> this place is terrifyingly depressing. Right, where are we going? Over here? Let's look at... Wow, that's a very angry looking monkey. Oh, yay! You unlocked... Cream and Black. A bug net. What the... I to wear the goggles and the suit and look like a mad creator. Oh, God. Now me, Angus. Okay, then I want this umbrella, though. I want a broken umbrella. Of course I do. Angus. Good day to you. My name is Angus. Do you know what I am? What? A fraud. You know nothing of construction, Angus. I'm going to say you're a robot ninja. What are you talking about? Well, you're clearly a balloon. Jesus. I'm an ape. Okay, you've made a horrible first impression, but all is forgiven. He clearly doesn't mean that. Look at his face. He's going to murder me in my sleep. Wow. Wow, that's... That was... Wow. Everyone on this island is horrible. They already all hate each other. There's like four people that live here. They all hate each other. This gives off a very different vibe from stuff like Animal Crossing because everyone just hates each other. No one wants to work together. We all hate each other. And eventually we'll end up in some sort of Lord of the Flies style scenario where we murder Angus under a waterfall. I mean, I'd be up for it. It's a good day out, isn't it? Right, um, Victoria, I can see as mayor. You're just staring out to sea. What do you want? Oh, it's pouring down with rain. Great, you've met everyone. Yeah, that was a fun experience. All kinds of fun things for you to do. Mm, debatable. Debatable. Good stuff needs your... I'll be honest, it doesn't feel like a world that wants me in it. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't feel like a world that actually wants me here. I feel like I'm, an, I'm a trespasser. I don't feel like I've landed on an island of fun, friendly people and frolics. I've landed on an island of hate and mistrust and no one likes me. I hope there's a murder and I get to solve it. Right. I'm, yep, I'm talking to him. Yeah, hi. Now you're just flexing on me. Oh, okay, you have to start growing corn. Okay. I need one corn. Co right. Why am I growing... Why am I growing you food? Why do I work for everyone? I want to do my own thing. I want to make my own little area. I want to make my own house and cover it with barbed wire and keep you guys out. Uh, right, go over here. Go to the farm plot. Yep, I'm here. Expand your equipment. Yep, okay. Rake. Yep, rake it. Oh, look, they turn into weird lines. Yay! Right, good. Um, okay. Oh, and then you've got a... Okay, you've got to plant them in here. Okay, good, good, good. Might as well do the rest then. Three. Four. Was there five or six? I don't know, but I'll just do these. I'll just do them all. There's no downside, is there? Three, that's fine. There you go. Oh, have we got more? Might as well do them all, I guess. It hasn't hooked me in the same way Animal Crossing has, I'm not going to lie. But, you know, I, sh I suppose it's unfair, isn't it, with an indie game? To compare it to, like, you know, something as big and as long-running as Animal Crossing. But I think that's the problem with making a game that is so obviously inspired, is that you're going to draw those comparisons. You're going to just naturally draw those comparisons because, well, that's the thing that's like your game, isn't it? It's just, it's the way it is. It's like me saying, oh, I'm going to get into making sausage rolls, but don't compare me to Greg's. 
Well, if you open next door and you call yourself Griggs, you're going to get compared, my friend. That's the way it goes. But, you know, maybe maybe it'll grow on me. Maybe it'll grow on me. Just I, I want to know who the tiki god is. I hope it's like a weird, creepy kind of tiki god that will impose his wrath on me. I'd like a volcano, actually. I'd, it, what would be cool is if it went completely the other way and went towards old school Sim City. You know, like when you had the you had like the eruptions, that'd be fun. Like the entire island is crushed, and there's death and destruction. Angus is hanging off a cliff. And he's let go by Gustav and falls to his death. Oh. I don't think that game would get bought by anyone other than me. But I'd play it. And that's the important thing, surely. Okay, water my crops. Harvest my crops. And there we go. Oh, look, it's a, it's a blob, look. And we'll put the blob in the broken silo blob. Leave the sign. That's not... That's broken. Surely that's broken. Oh, hmm, okay. I'll just go with it. I'll just go with it. Yep, fine. Gustav, I've done your work for you, you lazy... Oh, right, you just stood here. Yeah, thanks, mate. I really appreciate your false, hollow compliments. If you saw a water icon, that means watering the crop will make it grow. Do you know what? If you know that... Why don't you do some bloody work? Oh, they can be water multiple times and they will grow bigger each time. The size of your crop turns on the size of your harvest. <laughs> oh, Gustav, you tease. Full grown crop will, be the, will give the biggest yield. I have heard that. Right. Good. Talk to Victoria. Victoria, I continue to toil under you like Sauron. About halfway through the game, I'll just hear her being like, I see. Order your corn. Well, okay. Sh don't patronise me. We need you to brighten up Castaway Paradise. <laughs> just kill them. Splatter blood all over the beach. Let's just start with our town hall. Place three fences around it. Fence faces the wrong direction. Oh, right. Yeah, I'll do your job for you. Why are you the mayor? You're very good at delegation. Maybe you're also really good at lying and having affairs. And you'd be definitely overqualified as the mayor. Um, right, so... You want me to... What's that? It's a boot. Dirty old boot. Right, brilliant. How did you guys get by before I turned up? What's that? That's a banana skin, I assume. Uh, okay. Quick inventory. Oh. There you go. Yeah, there you go. But it, uh, oh, there you go. Good. Oh, this is very. I understand it's low. It's teaching you the systems, but it's so handholdy. My God. And everything is so less Animal Crossing and more Fanimal Nossing. Right, come here. Where are you? Oh, you're still here, are you? Careful, because the creepy murderous duck is coming. Hi. She's going to stare at the back of my head where she wants to peck out my brain. This is so much better. I know, right? What an awful, terrible crap hole you live at. What? From now on, decorate the island as you see fit. You trust me completely? We've known each other for ten minutes. You can decorate your own room too. Well, I, like, thanks. I appreciate that. She's like, you can live in my attic. Now get up there and do my house. Yeah, you no problem. Right, now I'm free. I'm free to do my own thing now, am I? I'm going to water my crops. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but I'm going to water the rest. Yeah, it's not as... It doesn't feel as nice doing this. Because in, in other games, you sort of splatter it around. I'm trying so hard to not bring up Animal Crossing. And every two seconds, I'm like Animal Crossing. At least there's no Tom Nook conning me out of money. I get enough of that in life. Now, right. That's terrifying. Look at that face. Where is this place? Oh, uh, oh, we'll find out. Okay. Hello and welcome to my house. Oh, wow. The clothes are quite snazzy, though. Oh, my God, is that a stylist? We need that. Right, I need a style. 
I love you. You look good. Okay, steady on. Right. I love your clothes. They can use some sparkles. Right. Marcel, how are you doing? You look great. Do my hair. Meeting celebrities excites me because I don't see myself. Oh, that's sad. How can a gorgeous young fashion director with impeccable taste not be a celebrity? I know. But it's true, I'm not famous. I want to be famous though, ever since I was a little mama. Oh. I feel like you're aiming for the wrong things here, Marcel, because you seem like a lovely human. But fame isn't everything. Fame isn't everything. Do you like my hairdo? Yes, I love it. That is horrifying. Look at his little smiley face. It's terrifying. Smart, gorgeous kid. Is this... Is this guy on some kind of register? Anyway, let's talk about the sale. Oh, yeah, yeah, forget about that. You find all kind of fashionable outfits. Yeah, I can see him. I can see him. I want to do my... Uh, my hair, damn it. Do my hair. But what... I want to do my hair. God damn it, Marcel. What is it? Oh, could not do this. What? What do you do? Well, right, you buy hair here. I want a diving helmet for a head. That's what I want. Good. That's what I wanted. Um, and now I'll wear this. Good. That's what I wanted. This is what I've always wanted to be. I've wanted to be like a creepy, somewhat Big Daddy-esque creature. What else can I buy? I want to buy a fire. Uh, yep. Yep, buy a campfire. We'll have that. What's this? Candles? Mm. What's that? Puzzle pieces? Mm. What's that? Oh, look, it's a pile of poo. Oh, no, it's pine cones. Right, the floor, wooden flooring. I like it. I like the wooden effect. It's quite cold, though, so we're going to do with a little, a little rug. What's that? Is that a rug or a carpet? Bare panels? Uh, hmm. No, I don't want bare panels. Oh, is that a rug? It's a hideous rug, though. It's a doormat. I'll have it, because I need a doormat. Fence corner? No. Uh, I want the tiki head, but it's too expensive. I mean... <laughs> I guess that's what you call people that get too much sun, huh? Beach nuts. <laughs> I slay me. Right, um... Pu pumpkin. I want pumpkin seeds. What's that? Caladium. I want caladiums. Okay, good. What's that? Rosebush, can't afford it. Wheat food, can't afford it. Wheat fish food, can't afford it. Mood candles for Mother's Day. Okay. Cream and black texture, like some. That's a, that's really a, a bedroom look. I'm not going to talk to you, creepy old rich goat, because I'm scared of you. I don't want to accidentally summon Satan or something. What? Right. Okay, let's plant our pumpkins as well, because I want pumpkins, damn it. I want pumpkins. Um, okay, good. There we go. Uh-huh. Yeah, I've got the freedom now. Maybe, maybe this is what I needed. I needed the freedom. Because now that I feel free... You know, I feel like I'm, I'm going to have a good time. I feel like I'm going to have a good time now. Okay, um, what's that? Uh huh. Put that there, I suppose. And I'll put this here. There we go. Bought something, who knows what. But it's there now. And I'm growing a pumpkin. Because... I don't care. Right, um, can I grab anything just anywhere, or does it have to be in that plot? I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not going to look... Oh, no, you can't. It has to be in that plot. It literally has to be in that plot. What's the... Okay. Oh, oh, oh is that my house? What's that? What? Where did I get an apple from? Just gave me an apple out of nowhere. What is that? What is that? I... Okay, I've created a tiny house for some kind of gnome. Then again, gnomes are cool, so I'm happy to have gnomes on the island. Where's Where do I live? 
Do I live here anywhere? Where's my tent? Is it in here? Oh, it's a terrifying post person. The mermaid is part human. Which is kind of creepy. Not much mail to carry that recently. Why did people stop sending handwritten letters? Yeah, maybe. Okay. Thanks, mail person. Um. Yeah. What? That's just a statue of something or other. And is this the mayoral hall? What? Oh, this is the museum. Do you get it? Because there's a museum in, in Animal Crossing, you see. And then we've got this place, which is the, the murder place. What is this? This is horrifying. It's like a creepy little back room with a constantly burning fire and toys for murders. I don't know why, but this whole island gives me this creepy feel. I think it's the squares and the fact that the animals look creepy. Whoa, hello. I'm Ramona. My boss is out right now, but I think you already met her. Is it? Oh, yeah. What a surprise. What a surprise. Victoria's the boss, is she? Murderous, creepy person. Okay, thank you for telling me about wanting to kiss your husband. Didn't need to like flex on me. I wasn't gonna hit on him. However, now that I've seen him, don't don't tell Ramona, but I love your hair. Your financial consultant. That's Oh Right, geckos don't change colour. That's chameleons. Oh He grew a nose. His nose went all weird. Give me tips hot stocks that okay. I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be doing a stock market in this. I really don't want to be doing stocks. This is the thing, like Animal Crossing doesn't quite transfer fully over to being work, but this feels a lot like work right now. It's like, oh yeah, don't forget about your financial investments. And you're like, oh God. Can I, no, I can, okay. Can I run? No. Okay. So, the tent down here, is that my tent? Because she did say there was a tent I could live in. Is the tent that's already up my tent? I didn't think it would be because... Right. 15,500. <clears throat> Can I go in? What's it like on the inside? I thought it was in her... What the? This... What? Okay, I'm confused. This is not a tent. This is definitely not a tent. Um. Huh. I guess we'll put our stuff down, I guess. The doormat's tiny. Right. No. Uh, let's put this down, I guess. Yep, that's a nice floor. I like that. Put a little table down, I suppose, over here. Good. Um, chairs, yeah. No, don't. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. There we are. Lovely. No, it's an apple. And put an apple on the floor. That's not where they go. Right, good. Perfect. Ready for company. It's yeah. I don't know how I feel about this. It's no. Oh. It's just very. Um, I don't know. I mean, like, I'm just looking around the house now that like, I can actually look around it. I'm guessing this is the biggest house you can get. But it doesn't have the same vibe, does it? it? Doesn't it? Doesn't feel as sort of homely and relaxing. I think part of that's the music, maybe. Maybe the music. What do you want me to do? I'm going to talk to you. Creepy duck. Duck book. What do you want? Howdy, quack. Nick. God's sake. What would you like? To, what was it like to fall into the ocean? Weren't you scared? Yes, I was terrified. Between gasping for air and water rushing into my lungs, I was I was terrified. But that's absolutely fine. Um, what do you want me to do for you? What what menial task can I perform for you? 
you know, the, the person that nearly drowned that you're talking. How can I help you? I'd like to go diving. Oh, would you? Bring back some horrible nightmares for me. Then I'm going to have my diving bell helmet. You can look at fish. Okay. Yep. Okay, catch you two fish. Fish food increases your chances. Some fish can't be caught unless you use special fish food. Okay. Again. Why am I working for you? I like that. I like, I quite like that look though. I like the big diving bell running around with the fishing rod. There's something about the fishing rod being oversized that makes it quite cute. Eh. Is it gonna go towards it? Oh, here it comes, here it comes. You, right. I wonder how this works, let's. No, um, right. where's that fish going? Are they coming back? God damn it. Right, here comes a fish. There we are. Oh. Right, this, this is annoying. There we are. You caught a slate pencil urchin. These little fellows use their spines as a pencil. Too bad their writing always gets washed away very quickly. Ha! <laughs> okay. I quite like that screen, that's kind of cute. I like that. I quite like the rundown of what you've caught. That eliminates that whole thing of having to go to the museum curator in Animal Crossing, so I like that. That's a nice little feature. There you go. Take the bait, damn it. You caught a bicolor goatfish. What hideous creature is that? Goatfish are very proud of their beards that grow from their chins. These goatfish are bicolored. Uh, okay. As you do, I suppose. Couldn't get the rights to real fish. That was that was brought up by Animal Crossing. They were like, you can't use real fish names. If you say cod, we'll sue ya. We'll batter ya. Alright? Alright? Do you get it? It's a fish joke. I know, there's a time and a place for them. <laughs> do you get it? Because place is a fish. Oh... I couldn't keep this up. Ha! 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 Amusing, no? I'm having fun, and that's what matters, I think. And I know that they only duck person only wanted two. I've forgotten her name. But I want three to prove that I'm an overachiever. Wait, have I already... Did I catch two or three? I've caught two, right? I'm so confused. Look, a, a dead fish. I'll give her that. I caught this. You can have the dead one. Yeah, I am really good at it. I wish I was that fast. Yeah, you know. Maybe if you tried doing something, you would be good at it. Thanks for the fish. Here's something in return. What have you given me? A puzzle piece and a wooden stool. I don't want a stool sample from you. But I'll take it. Right, let's go talk to the mayor. Oh, Cthulhu in Lord. What do you need of me? You who duff just watch the waves and murder those in your squalls. Hi there, sugar. Do you magazines about good leadership? Yeah? Do you? Follow anything, do you? Doubtful. Doubtful. It's my responsibility to as mayor. <laughs> you have responsibilities, do you? Leading by example. It's a great idea. In short, it means you want people to do something, you should do it yourself. Yeah, I agree. I don't want garbage laying around on an island. So if you clean up around here, I will do this. Oh. You're all used to this sound, so I'm just gonna. So let's try it out. Pick up three pieces of garbage. Right. If that was meant as a joke, then that's quite good. If that was meant unironically, then. Hmm. I've picked up some crap for you. Do you want this? I'm sure I was. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for the reward. You've given me a barrel. I'll definitely be putting that out of the rest of the garbage. Oh, oh, oh. I need to water my pumpkins. There's something scary about the way the plants grow. Right, wash, what are these? Oh! Princess buns! Oh. I'm not gonna lie. 
now that this stuff has started appearing, I'm immediately more invested because I'm thinking about my house. I'm a big design guy, you know? I'm a big design guy. Oh my God. I know what I need. I need these. I want to be a captain with a monocle. I definitely want to be a captain with a monocle. Yeah. Now that stuff has started basically unlocking, I, f I feel a lot more invested. It's always the way with these kind of games. I want it more now because because stuff's unlocked, I'm immediately more invested in it. Harvesting takes a while though. This animation could be quicker. It's a very slow harvest animation. And if you're doing this for a lot of plants, I can imagine that'll get very tedious very fast. The silo is full. Okay, I guess I have to upgrade with X. 2000? So, what do I. So I can't move this corn then? I hope this is a weight thing and not a microtransaction thing. I fingers crossed it is a weight thing. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't like waiting either, but if it's a weight, I can deal with it. If it's a microtransaction thing, I can't. But I'll, I'll check. I hope there's not. Let's have a look. Um. Doesn't look like there is. Doesn't look like there is. Let's have a look. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's microtransactions. If I look at something... No, it looks like they're all crystal things. And it doesn't look like you can buy them. It looks like you can only earn them. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. I like that. If that is the case, then I like that. I like games where you unlock stuff because of time played. Rather than spending money on real life stuff. So I can I can get behind that. And the whole waiting thing, I know it's not for me. I'm not a big waiter. But um, I know that a lot of people do like that system. They like the whole sort of going away and coming back system. And I can understand that. I can understand that to an extent. If you're sort of really invested and you go away and you come back and you play like that. I can, I can kind of get behind that. I enjoy it with Animal Crossing. And I, I don't skip the clock just because... I'm that kind of guy, really. I don't, I don't like feeling like I've cheated the system. I'm a good person at heart, you know. I don't cheat on Animal Crossing. But I'm not saying that anyone who cheats is a bad person. Just saying that now. But um, I don't know. It feels like it detracts, you know. I don't like having to go and break the flow to change a setting. It's not what I want to do when I'm playing a game like this. Come on, walk me pumpkins. Get me walk me pumpkins, darling. I don't even know what these are. They're going to grow, and it's going to be majestic. And we're going to sell them for tons of money. And the first building I'm going to build is a prison. And I'm going to unlock Angus in it for being rude to me. Fish! Okay, so my inventory is full, so it said stuff would automatically go to, I think, my wardrobe. Which I'm fine with. Okay, good. There we go. Right. Come here, fish. How do I... How, what? Huh? There we go. Oh, okay, there we go. There was some sort of little glitch there. Um, okay. I'm gonna catch this damn fish, damn it. Ah! Come on! You see it. There we go. I guess. Oh no. Damn it! The hard fish are coming out now. I am using a controller for this rather than the Joy-Cons. And it does feel quite stodgy. So how how do I Alright, oh, I have to I have to Oh! Call a trumpet fish! He's wonderful fish, but end to be fighting sticks by drifting motionlessly. Their snouts look like trumpet. Well eh. If you've never seen a trumpet before, that's totally true. I want this. I want this wood. Um, what else do I... Right, fish. Come here, fish. I need you. Hmm. Nope. No such luck. Oh. All I want is a fish. My kingdom for a fish. Come here. What type of fish are you, fish? 
No, damn it. Hmm, I understand more now than ever that whole outsmarting the fish thing. Never been into fishing in real life, but I like it in video games. Which is weird, really, but I don't like it in real life. The broken TV has been moved to your storage. Oh, this is too much like real life. The patterns on these fish are like a maze. If only they could sit still. I'm trying to solve it. Beat them to death. Then they'll be motionless for you. <laughs> I don't know why I'm in such a murderous mood. This is such a calming game. And yet, for some reason... Then again, it is Friday. I've had a week of work. So I think that's my excuse. Come on. Come to Big Daddy. You caught a saddleback grouper. Oh. I've been called a lot of things in my time. But saddleback groupers new. These groupers are gluttonous creatures. They'll eat anything that fits in their big... Right, I feel... I feel shunned and read a little bit by this one. I feel like this one is like clearly a direct reference to me. Somehow I don't think it is, but if the, if the devs come out and say it, I wouldn't be surprised. Right. One of my first priorities as mayor is to keep this place habitable. Yeah, it looks like a tip. Right. right. What do you want us to do? Pick up some trash. Right, this is the second time you've had me pick up rubbish. You've literally had me pick up rubbish twice now. But that's fine, don't worry about it. You just enjoy wandering around on the beach. Um, right, I'll, I'll water these on the way down, I suppose. Um, yep, good. Water this. Want my pumpkins to grow. Yep, water this cheeky tree. There you go, good. Where are you, Mayor? We've got a load of rubbish to give you. Where are you? There you are. I find the next creepy. Right, quest. Look at that, beautiful. The island looks great. I don't like the Mayor. Goggles! I am happy about that, though. Has she given me them, or can I buy them now? Right, I've got a quest for Angus. But on the way there, right, you can bet your bottom dollar I'm going to be fishing on the way there. Ah, eh. I want both the fish. Oh my god, it can happen. Like goats, these fish eat anything that can graze off the ground. The goat fish are red with two distinct bars. Okay. But right, I want the second fish. It wanted to come with me the first time, but... One at a time, fish. Oh, you caught an old shoe! My favourite thing. I thought I messed that up, to be honest. You could just reach in and pull that fish out with your hands. Oh, yep. Slate pencil urchin. Good. Uh, we need to go talk to the monkey fella who's really angry. The ape fella. That's just in a permanent state of anger. Yeah, hi. Right, there he is. Maybe that's why he's called Angus. Because he's always angry. Those bugs are a veritable horror. Yeah, I know, right? I'm always concerned when someone uses the word writhing whilst making angry eye contact with me. Stevie on Nature Girl is always watching. You can't squash bugs, but you can catch them. Hmm. I hate this guy. I know he's meant to be angry, but I hate him. I want to just crack him over the head with this. If there was someone I murdered first, it would be this guy. <laughs> I mean, nothing. Uh, right, I need to catch some bugs. Hello, it's me. I might catch a bug or one or two or maybe even three. Right, I might butterfly. If I walk slow, will it run away? Yes! A morpho butterfly. If it comes, he fires you to its large and heavy wings, but boy, is it beautiful. Agreed. I need to catch that thing now. What is that? A fig wasp? Only female fig wasps have wings. Be careful when you see one flying around. It could be a male who is winging it. <laughs> I want 
trying to tell my fish jokes again, but I feel like everyone already hates me for the first round. Right, what's that? Oh. Oh. Come here, bug. I wish to be your friend. God damn it. You make... Right. Where did it go? Is it gone? Oh, so much to be in friends with that. Um, let's have a look here. I feel like there's not that many bugs around, are there? I just need to water my crops. Oh, I need to water my crops. I'll water my crops whilst I wait for bugs to appear. Wow, this is definitely how I pictured spending my Friday. What about you? That sentence is definitely how I pictured spending my Friday. Like I say though, there's a certain bit of cathartic joy in this. There is some definite cathartic joy in just sort of wandering around, doing this kind of menial tasks. That being said, I think the animations could be quicker. The animations are very slow. I don't know about the block thing. I, I really don't know about the design choice here. Because I know it's meant to look minimalist, but I mean like the apple for example, if I pick an apple up, it's just a blob. It's just a red blob with a green leaf on it. I mean, it, it doesn't look good. Like, you can look great with minimalist style. And I totally get that. And I get what they're going for here. Is like that polygonal... Polygonal? Polygonal? I don't know. They're, they're going for that Tina Swaddle look. And I, t I totally get that. I understand why they're doing it. But it's just that thing of... Another morpho butterfly. Oh, look. There's one of my feet. What a jump this bug is. Right, come here. Oh, oh, he's too slow. Damn it. Yes, a blue percher. Often like to loiter around in one place, often together with their buddies. Huh. I'm gonna catch this one now. A monarch! A monarch! I'm the monarch! Yeah, you know. There's something satisfied about it. The thing I would say is the music is killing me slowly. The the music is so Green Dragonfly. Hmm. The music the da 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 tune. Just repeating with like a couple of little different interludes. I hate it. Ah I thought I got that. Like, there needs to be some variation in music. Definitely. Maybe, like, two or more tracks. Two or three more tracks. Because this is just... Oh, God. This is hurting me. Black ground beetles have a fear of flying and swimming. Okay. Right, you. Miserable, angry guy. I'm going to murder you in your sleep. Yeah, plants and flowers. Yeah, okay. Yeah, good. Okay, yep. Just don't plant any flowers near me. I want to put... I'm going to put flowers all around him. Okay, yep, good. There you go. Level five. I can make art. I can grow chokes. What else have I unlocked? Antique table's quite nice. Found a statue. Oh, chocolate stand. That's an interesting choice. Some of these are really interesting, weird things. Diving suit. Oh, my God. We need that. Can we buy that from the shop? Can we buy the diving suit? Uh, let's go see if we can buy the diving suit. I want the diving suit badly. Come on. Uh, is this the shop? No, that's the bank. Oh, damn it. No. Oh, no. I can't get a diving suit in here. The diving suit or the captain's outfit? If I go with the captain's outfit, I'd want to grow a moustache. Because I feel like every good captain should have a moustache. And I'm guessing I have to talk to Creepy Goat Man now. My prices aren't bad. That's why I assume he should. That's what he should say. I could voice the goat. A customer. How wonderful. I'm Samir, the storekeeper here at Stuff to Buy. Welcome to my store. As you can see, I sell a lot of different things. If you need information about any of the items on sale, just stand in front of the item and press the button. See, that would be quite good, wouldn't it? Good luck. That would be quite good, wouldn't it? I'd be alright as a goat person. 
But then you know what they say about if you go full goat, so... What's that? What? Oh, it's sandals! Right, can you do my hair yet? Or do you just not do hair? Um, right, never mind, actually. Oh, yeah, you got to buy it from there. So is this like a daily thing where you have to wait for days and then it appears? Oh. I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait. I want to immediately become the incredible diving man. Or the captain. Right, uh, someone else has a mission for me. I think that's the other thing, is villagers don't seem to do anything. They don't seem to sit or interact or go home. They just wander about. I feel gonna have terrible taste. Okay. Okay. Place some furniture in your house. Haven't I already done that? Buy and place five new furniture. Damn it! Right, fine. Back to the bloody shop. Yeah, they don't seem to do anything, do they? It, doesn't, it just seems like the island is constantly the same. Nothing's happening. It occasionally rains, so that makes no difference to anyone. Like, buy new stuff. I know I, I, I'm not trying to be harsh, either. I feel like I'm being overly critical, but... I think that's the thing, is with a game like this, I want the Mother's Day candles. 600 for them? My God. I think with a game like this, the thing is, you're always going to get those... I'm going to buy them, I don't care. Um, you're always going to get those kind of it looks likes because it, it does look like Animal Crossing and the problem is is if you are going to do something like this where you make a game that's similar to something else, you have to do something better than they do or at least the same you know, the same standard or better and that's the hard part and this is interesting, this is kind of I'm having a fun time but uh, there doesn't seem to be a USP, you know? A unique selling point at the moment. Maybe there is. Maybe I'm not seeing it yet. But I just feel like it's very... Yeah. You know. Yeah. Right. Um. Put the bugs in for now. Put the fish in for now, I guess. I could sell them, but... I don't know. I don't really want to, I guess. You st no, new storage. Uh, okay, I want this bucket. I want this torch. I want this campfire. I want. What else do I want? Um. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. That's a good one. I'm gonna put this bucket here because it's where I pee. I pee here. Um, I'm gonna put this barrel here because it's where I store my pee after I've peed. I store my urine here. I'm going to put this stool over here because, I don't know, reasons. I'm going to put a torch over here because why not? I'm going to put a doormat here because that's what I am. A human doormat to the mayor and her friends. Good. I'll see you later then. Yeah, I'm not getting particularly fun vibes, you know? I suppose it's an in if you've done everything on Animal Crossing and you want more of that, then come here. If you want slightly different, not quite the same Animal Crossing experience, then this is where you go. Um, right, good. That was, yep, yeah, good. Right, let's wash, wash, water, and... I'm, lo I'm losing enthusiasm. I'm losing, I'm, I'm losing enthusiasm rapidly. You know? I don't know if that's evident. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. I don't know if that's showing in the quality. But I'm losing enthusiasm rapidly. Because I'm just, I'm just watering, watering my pumpkins, boy. Uh-huh. And it just seems very arbitrary. Uh I think the squares are making me uneasy, actually. The more I watch the square-like design, the more it makes my eyes not ache, but I think I try and see all the polygons, if you know what I mean. Like, I'm following all the shapes, and I, I don't know if I like it or not. It, it's very off-putting, and a little bit creepy. I don't know, not creepy, 
It's a little bit unnerving, I suppose. I suppose it's because you kind of look at it and you think, oh, it's not aesthetically pleasing, you know? What does this do? I'll draw mines and stones. Doesn't seem to be any reason to do it, but the island seems to be happy from it. It's just. Yeah. Okay. Good. Right. Okay. What's this? Build Gust. Yep. Oh, he can't afford it. Right. Okay. I was going to build Gustav's bakery, but I can't. Um. Hmm. How much is it to repair this bridge? That's for the bridge. Oh, I need to buy puzzle pieces and put them here. And we can visit Harold. You've stranded the poor guy. Wow. Can I, can I cut these down? No, they're just here, are they? Oh, is that a shovel? Can I shovel them out? Yes, there we are. Oh. Okay. What's this? Village well. It is so much work. Right. Yeah, but why do I care? How much is this one? Oh, I need puzzle pieces. Then I could go and meet... Oh, Harold's on... Oh, that's a big island then. What's this? Can I use this? No. Can I use this? No. Okay. This music is what I will hear in hell when I die. Just the same wibbly wee noise. All the time. Yeah, hi, quack. It's Nick. Okay. So we're in a hammock. Okay. Great. Could you plant two big trees close to each other over there on the beach? Oh my god, why? Okay. Okay, I'll do that for you. Do you know what? No, I won't do that for you. I won't do that for you. I'm done working for you lazy no-ones. Wish I'd stayed as the kelp monster. Then I could have had a Scooby-Doo adventure. But yeah, this is Castaway Paradise. It's, um... Yeah. That's Castaway Paradise. Yeah, it's um, it's all right. It's just up against some very, very tough competition, and uh, I'll be honest, I think the entire island will be uplifted when I go on my shining style adventure. <laughs>